Hello dear students, uh, how are you? Hope you're fine. Today we are going to continue the second part of our lesson, What's Your Hobby? Uh, last week we have tackled the first part of this lesson. Today we are going to take different, uh, different uh, objectives in this uh, part two, uh, which is uh, What's Your Hobby? Uh, let's start. The learning objectives of this lesson, you're going to talk about your hobby in two different ways. I'm going to talk uh, to make a revision of this, a re-revision of this objective that was tackled last week. Talk about him or herself. You're going to talk about yourself in, in, in several uh, domains and ask someone about something. You're going to ask someone about something about something and create simple sentences in Arabic language and then you're going to list the days of the week and identify prepositions. Here are the most important learning objectives of this of this uh, lesson. Here I'm just uh, refreshing your uh, knowledge or your background knowledge about about the objective that we tackled last week, which is talking about what you're good at and what you can do. We said in order to talk about your hobby, what do you do? You have to talk in two ways. Either you say I am good at or I can. Okay. I am good at playing soccer. We took a, a, last week. I gave you uh, several kinds of sports, and I told you to study it. What do you mean by I am good? We said I am good is Anna Ujidu at playing soccer. We said after Anna, after I am good, there's always a noun form of a verb or a noun. Anna Ujidu لعب كرة القدم. Or you can say it in another way. I can play soccer. I can is أستطيع لعب كرة القدم. Here either you put the noun form of the verb or أستطيع and ألعب كرة القدم أستطيع is I can and to play and to play or you can put it to plus the conjugated rule or conjugated form of the verb and ألعب كرة القدم we have here also I can go there alone I can is أستطيع go is أذهب أستطيع أن أذهب you need to know these verbs that play means ألعب and go means أذهب there is هناك Alone is bimufredi. So these are the main important things that you can do or your hobbies I'm good at or I can. Now I told you that maybe you can change this to the negative or say I'm not good at doing this or I can do this. This means لا أستطيع أن أفعل. I'm not good at playing soccer. I'm good at playing soccer is أنا أجيد لعب كرة القدم. Okay, this is أجيد لعب كرة القدم. Here أجيد is the action verb. What do you put uh, uh, before it? لا. I can play soccer. I can play soccer. We put before أستطيع لا. لا أستطيع لعب كرة القدم. I can go there alone. It becomes I can't go there alone. So we put before أستطيع لا. So these are the first the the important things that we tackled last week. Now, if you want to ask someone about something, any issue. Usually, we use this sentence to ask someone about something about personal information. Maybe this personal personal information will be regarding name, will be regarding uh, nationality, age, for example, a hobby. You may ask him about your hobby, for example, about his hobby or her hobby. So it's a personal information or what does he work, okay, or past experiences. You may ask him about his past experiences. What did he experience in the past? So to ask what's the how do we ask this question? Tell me about. So tell me either about. You give him personal information or you're talking about personal experiences. Tell me is أخبرني. So tell me is أخبرني. About is an. So here we have a new preposition. Later on, we're going to identify these prepositions. So tell me is akhbirni, but if you say akhbirni, if you're talking to, you're directing your question to a masculine. But if you're directing your question to a feminine, you say akhbirini. So this ra here, short uh, sound, becomes ri here. Okay, akhbirini. Akhbirini about an. So Either أخبرني عن or أخبرني عن what. So, let's take an example. Tell me about yourself. 
أخبرني yourself means نفس yourself is نفس okay self is نفس only self here we have a possessive pronoun which is your so we say نفسك we have to add the letter ك so أخبرني so we use the masculine noun. Either we say أخبرني عن نفسك or the feminine أخبريني عن نفسك. So this is ك for the masculine and this is ك for the feminine. Okay. Now by this we finished. So a general way to ask about something. I'm going to re uh, summarize this. And a general way to ask about uh, something. You may uh, say. Uh, tell me about, which is أخبرني عن for the masculine and أخبريني عن for the feminine. Tell me about yourself. أخبرني عن نفسك or أخبريني عن نفسك. You are going to give me personal information about yourself. Here you tell me my name is Colin. You are giving me personal information about your name, for example. اسمي Colin. I am 12 years old. You're introducing your age to me. You say, عمري 12, we've took this before, 12 سنة. Notice here, when do we use سنوات? And then, and when do we use سنة? سنوات, we use it when your age is between 3 and 10. But when your age is above 10, you use sana, sana, okay? So, years here is sana. So, عمري, I am, اثنى عشرة سنة. So, here, of course, it will be with ya, okay? I am from Serbia. Here you are introducing your nationality. Giving me personal, I am from Serbia. أنا من Serbia. Or you can say, أنا Serbi. Okay, Anna Serbi. We have two ways as we've taken before. Anna Serbi, it ends with ya. Or you tell me Anna Serbia, that ends with ya and ta marbuta. Serbia. Okay, this is regarding the personal information. Now, you may tell me your hobbies. I am good at playing soccer. Okay. Now you are telling me my hobby, your hobby in one of the different ways that we, that we studied. I am good at is ujidu, playing. We know that after I am good at, we cannot use a, an, a verb. I am good at, this is the noun form of the verb. Ujidu, playing is la'ab, the verb is al'ab. Okay, I am good at ujidu la'ab, soccer is kurat al qadam. Or you can say... I like soccer or I love soccer. I love soccer means uhibbu soccer kurat al qadam. By this here you introduced your hobby in two different ways. Okay? So here you introduced yourself or you talked about yourself regarding your name, regarding your age, regarding your nationality, regarding your hobbies. And we can add, for example, regarding your job. What's your job now? I am a student, for example. Okay? Your job or your work, Anna. I am a student, which is Anna Talib. Talib, if you're talking about a boy, if you're talking about a girl or about a feminine, you say Anna Taliba. These should be studied. These should be studied verbally and practically. Because later on we're going to do a Socrative quiz regarding this lesson. Here you're asking someone, here we are going specific. You're, going, you're giving personal information about your hobby. Tell me about your hobby. Tell me is أخبرني for the masculine or أخبريني for the feminine. About is عن. Okay. Hobby, your hobby. Hobby is هواياتك. هواياتك. This is a, هواياتك if they are more than one. 
more than one hobby. If you have more than one hobby, you say هوايتك. Okay, more than one hobby. If you have more than one hobby, so you say here, أخبرني. You're asking someone to uh, tell you about his hobbies. أخبرني عن هواياتك or أخبريني عن هواياتك for the feminine. We have here several things, okay? Either you say, I like to cook food or I love to cook food. أحب to cook and أطهو الطعام. أحب أن أطهو الطعام. Okay? You may say, I like to food. أحب أن أطهو الطعام. Or you, uh, or you can say the noun form of a verb. أحب طهو الطعام. Or you may say, I'm good at cooking food. أجيد طهو الطعام. The same. I like to play basketball. I like is أحبه. To is am. Play is ألعب كرة السلة. Or you can say أجيد لعب كرة السلة. I like playing basketball. I like to do sports. I like swimming a lot. Let's take I like. I like is أحبه. Swimming is السباحة. Or I like to swim. أحبه أن أسبح. It's the same. You, you can do it in both ways. A lot is كثيرا. Or you can say I'm good at swimming which is أجيد السباحة. Now here I like to do sports. That is something in you that you need to study. I like is أحبه. Two is أن. When you say do sports means do here أمارس. Okay, I like أحب أن أمارس sports الرياضة. So أحب أن أمارس الرياضة. So sports, you need to know it that this is الرياضة. By this, you introduce you introduce different hobbies. So hobbies means هوايات. Okay, many hobbies. Hobbies. Hobbies in general, without adding a noun, it's هوايات. Okay, look here. One hobby is hiwaya. Why it's hiwaya? You remember we said in the singular form that ends with ta marbuta. In order to change it into the plural form, we add a and ta. So the singular form, one hobby is hiwaya. Hobbies is hiwaya. And if we attach any possessive pronoun, for example, you, your, with your, we add ka. If I uh, attach my, we add ya, hiwayati. Okay? Hiwayati or hiwayati. It depends if, if it's one hobby or several hobbies. Now, what do you do? This question is used to ask about habits and things that, uh, that things someone does regularly. Yani, this question you use it only when you're going to ask others about their habits or what do you usually do, for example, during the weekend, and think someone, you know, think someone either he do it every, someone does it every day or on a regular basis, for example, every week or every two days, this is done regularly, okay? What do you mean by what do you do? What is ماذا? Do you do تفعل? تفعل is for the masculine, تفعلين, for the feminine. ماذا تفعل or ماذا تفعلين? For example, you may answer here. I am playing. You may tell me I am playing. This is in general. If I ask you ماذا تفعل, you tell me أنا ألعب, for example. I am cooking أنا أطهو. Okay, we have different things. Example, what do you usually do in the weekend? Here we're talking about something that is done regularly. Here this is the general question. ماذا تفعل or ماذا تفعلين? I am playing أنا ألعب or I am cooking أنا أطهو. Okay, or أنا أطبخ. Okay, so I am cooking. Here you can say أنا أطهو. Now, what do you usually do in the weekend? What do is ماذا تفعل or تفعلين? In is في later on you're going to uh, in the in the upcoming slides you're going to see the prepositions, the differences between the preposition. The weekend weekend is عطلة نهاية الأسبوع. So the weekend we need to memorize it. عطلة نهاية الأسبوع. ماذا تفعل في عطلة نهاية الأسبوع?
okay so these are the main things that we are going to tackle so what do you do as mother tafal maybe you say i am playing i am cooking i am studying uh, i am eating whatever okay what do you do in the weekend mother tafal things that you do regularly do in the weekend mother tafal fi utlat nihayat al usbu now you may that when someone asks you ماذا تفعل في عطلة نهاية الأسبوع you may, you may tell him I go swimming for example I go swimming أمارس السباحة he tells you now let's go to the he tell, he, he's giving you options let's go okay this is a nice way to suggest an outing activity to someone here you are going to suggest an outing activity to someone to a certain place let's go let's is fell here you are talking to someone uh, uh you uh in a, in the comment form okay in the imperative form let's is fell go nathab okay so go is nathab let's go because we're talking about one or more if you talk about one you say adhab let's go two is ila the, what's the place? Is it supermarket? Major? Is it beach? Al Bahar? Is it cinema? Is it hospital? Is mustashfa? Or is it restaurant which is matam? So let's go, for example, to the restaurant. Fal nadhab ila al matam. So here you use nadhab because you're talking about more than one. So this is a very nice way to suggest an outing activity some, uh, to someone. So the first question that you ask to someone, what do we usually do at the weekend? He ta you ask him, ماذا تفعل في عطلة نهاية الأسبوع? He may tell you, I go swimming. Okay? He may tell you, I go swimming. Okay. I go swimming means umaris as sibaha. Okay. Now you, talk, you tell him to change his habit. You want him to change his habit. What do you tell him now? Let's go to this place. فلنذهب إلى this place. Example. What if you tell uh, you, uh, this? Per, you extend the sentence by adding uh, by adding days of the week. You tell him, let's go to the cinema on Saturday. Okay. Let's is فلنذهب إلى السينما on Saturday. Saturday is what? It's a day. What does it mean? Yawm. Okay? So Saturday is a day. It means Yawm. Okay? Yawm. So فلنذهب إلى السينما يوم السبت. I put these in order to know what is day, what is week, what is month, and what is year. Day is Yawm now. Week is أسبوع. Month is شهر. Year is Sana. So let's go to the cinema on Saturday. فلنذهب إلى السينما يوم السبت. Now, I'll change the, uh, the t tense of the sentence. I will go to the cinema on, the, on Saturday. I will by yourself. Well, we said if we go talking about the future, it's sa or sofa. Okay? Sa or sofa. Go adhab. It's no longer nadhab. Because ana adhab. Tu is ila. Cinema is cinema. On Yawm as sabbat Okay? So, sofa adhab ila as cinema yawm as sabbat You should study these. And now in the upcoming slide, we're going to talk about the days of the... Now, what are the days of the week? We have Monday. We start with Monday, which is al ithnain We start with Tuesday, which is al thulatha We have Wednesday, which is al arbia We have Thursday, which is al khamis Friday, which is al jumua Saturday, which is al sabbat Sunday, which is Al Ahad. These we need to know them. We need to study them, and we should. We usually know. We should know that we should start with Monday. Here, we after we finish, let's go to the writing part. Talk about yourself. Give me personal information about yourself. Name is me. Hi, my name. Age, عمري اثنا عشرة سنة. I am twelve years old. Okay. So, I am 
12 years old, okay? Nationality, I am from Croatia, Anna men Croatia, or you can say because you are a feminine, Anna Croatia, it depends, Anna Croatia or Anna Croatia. What's your hobby? We, t we, t we, s we stated three ways to say our hobby. Either you say, I like basketball, or you may say, I like playing basketball, or so you can say it in two ways, either I like basketball, I like basketball which is أحبو كرة السلة or you can add in a, a verb here I like playing basketball playing for example, basketball. أحبو. Here, playing. Let's use it as a verb, not a noun form of a verb. أحبو أن ألعب كرة السلة. Okay. Or here you're saying أجيد لعب كرة السلة. I am good at playing soccer. This sentence means I am good at. I am good at what, for example, playing basketball. Okay, I'm good at playing. I am good at is ujidu. After ujidu, there is a noun. So now we don't say ujidu and alab. Ujidu laab kurat sala. Or you can say ujidu kurat sala. I am good at, at basketball. Instead of saying I'm good at play, I'm good at playing basketball means أحبو لعب كرة السلة. If you say I'm good at uh, I'm good at basketball, okay, you say أجيد كرة السلة. Okay. So here, as we said here, hobby is هواية. Hobby in general is هواية only. Okay. But here because because you're saying my hobby, for example, it's هواية. Hobbies, my hobbies is hiwayati. You may say here, for example, my hobby is playing basketball. Let's assume you're saying my hobby is playing basketball. How do we say it? You say hiwayati laab kurat asalla. My hobbies, what are your hobbies? Hiwayati, for example, playing basketball and football. More than one hobby. You say hiwayati laab kurat al qadam wa kurat asalla. So these are uh, several examples about writing or talking about your. Now I'm trying here to create uh, simple sentences. Let's go to the hospital because my dad is sick. Let's go is li nadhab. Li nadhab. Two is ila. The hospital we learned it's mustashfa. Because is li anna. My dad. Dad is ab. My dad is abi. Sick is married, okay? So, لنذهب إلى المستشفى or إلى المشفى لأن أبي مريض. I go swimming every Friday. We know that Friday is جمعة. I go here means أمارس. Swimming is what? سباحة. Or you can say I love to go swimming every day, okay? You can add to this sentence I love to go. What does it become? I love to go. It becomes... أحب to is أن here go is أمارس أحب أن أمارس what swimming I like to go swimming أحب أن أمارس السباحة every Friday which is كل جمعة Okay, now we're going to talk about the differences in prepositions. We have two means ila. At or in is fi. About is an. An is al. So these are different kinds of prepositions.